All right. Do we want to move into college football a little bit? Come on. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. College football dream coaches film room. All right. So we talk about this every year. Uh, Sam, your bunch, and, and us, we have always talked about how much fun the film room is. Uh, I don't watch it in real time. I watch the coach's film room after the national championship game. So I, I watch it, you know, with Kirk Herb Street and that bunch. And then I go in and I watch the film room the day after, two days after, whatever, to get their idea on what was actually happening during the game. Um, I'll let you go first. How many, how many coaches are we doing this? Do we know? Well, you say five? It's yeah, we can do five. It sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six. Sometimes I put you know. together five because your question in our little thing says five. Okay, wait, that sounds good. We we can do five. And so, that's what I sent Sam. Yep, I, I've got eleven coaches listed. And no, I've, you I, picked I, five. I know, I know, it. but I've I've got I've got my five that I'm that I would like to see. So if you put me in a room, I, I, I do want to hear the people. Inter- I'm I want to hear all room. 11 when all said and done, but <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving that room if I walk into a room with 11 people now. There you go. Okay, that's where I'm at in life. Like, uh, yep, nope, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, 100. <laughs> percent All right, Sam, you want to start us off? Who, uh, who's your number one? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, Are we going to draft this? We yeah. going to draft it? Can, should we draft it or should we? Like, Ooh. if if we're drafting, does that mean that the other person doesn't get? Uh, no, let's you can still, you can still. If we've got somebody on the same person, you're still allowed to have them. Yeah, let's draft let's, it. Let's do it. All right, let's draft. Let's draft it. All right, Sam, all right. you go with number one. Pat Fitzgerald, done. All right, that's your boy. That's your boy. That's your, <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, right. Come on, come on. No, I got. He would be a lot Listen, of fun. I got my boy on here too. That's okay. That's all right. I mean, like he would. Be, he breaks down film. He's intelligent, even though he's like technically Stone Age. But um, to hear him talk football is is something else, and. He's a couple of years ago when he was in the film room, you, you know, him and Cutcliffe together were just like unbelievable. And uh, that's why I, I would take Fitz number one. So I, I like listening to football guys talk football, but at some point in time that gets boring and I need just sheer entertainment. The ADD, the sophomore still stuck inside of me says, I need people who are quirky entertaining, funny. My number one draft pick from now until the day I die will be one Steven Spurrier. Now, it, does it have to be an active coach or can it be? Oh, I don't know. I didn't know. They, I didn't know they couldn't. I mean, he, I didn't think uh, he so, just lost his job to the AF last year. So he was an active coach. I guess. Yeah. I, I thought we were talking active college football coaches. I, I mean, I, oh, I would have well, had Spurrier. I got, on got one. I got one other guy that is, is not an active I, college football coach. That's right fine. Now. That's fine. That's no big deal. He, he was trying to be, but he didn't get a job. Okay. Okay. I'm, he's I'm been with one. You. My, uh, my number one, uh, along with the idea of talking football, you brought up the entertainment aspect. Mike Leach is number one for me. Uh, yep. y- you have Mike Leach breaking down no. offensive game plans. I'm all in for that. Give me Mike Leach, number one. Uh, it, I mean, could you imagine him trying to talk with, like, serious football guys? I just, I, I think it would be. But this is what, I, I will tell you, that's why I don't, I don't really have any room in, in my, in my coach's film room for serious football guys. All these understand. guys know football. That's okay. They all know it. Oh, yeah. You don't have to be so serious about it. That's I want a, guys that are going to dick around. That's a, that's a good point. I like Mine's going to be like most fun room. There won't be as much education, but I got some dudes that will teach you some things. That's Leach I'm, will teach you some things. Oh, he'll definitely I'm do for that. sure. He'll definitely do that. All right, uh, are we doing snake draft? Yeah, you can snake it. Snake All right, it. we're snaking it. Number two for me, I got uh, I got Chris's boy. I got I got the man. I got Les Miles. You bring in Les oh, Miles, yeah. it's the same thing as Mike Leach. You have Mike Leach and Les Miles on the same panel. Uh, it, it, that is viewership records right there. I would rather watch that than anything else that's going on. Uh, I, give, me, years, give me Les. Years ago when he got fired at, at LSU, the first thing I said is, is, the game day needs to have like a 15 minute segment every week. And you just bring back old sec coaches in Spurrier, Phil Fulmer, Mike, uh, uh, Les miles. And you, and you have like a little bitty film room every week for 15 minutes. It's just old guys drinking coffee, talking football. And, and I just want to see Spurrier make fun of Fulmer to his face <laughs> and all those guys just laugh and joke. I'm telling you. Yes. Yes. hundred percent. Who, uh, who you got number two, Chris, I'll, I'll, I mean, you've used two of my three, but uh, 
uh, Les Miles, I mean, Les is my coach. He was the coach that I had in the formidable years of my life that helped make me a man that I am. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I'll always love that man. I'll always love him, no matter what. Sam, who you got? Um, I am going to go, let's see. Well, you get to go two and three here. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, <laughs> but, you know, who, who you take second, who you take third, you know, it Matters. makes a difference with, with someone's ego. Um, <laughs> let's let's bring some entertainment. If you want to bring a little entertainment into the room, um, we're going to go with, uh, in the second round, Mike Gundy, third round, Herm Edwards. Oh, 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 oh. yes. That's, I didn't, even, I didn't even think of Herm Gundy. I do. Oh like, yeah, I love the. Oh yeah, yep. I didn't even think of Herm. Oh, I kind of hate myself now. <laughs> Herm's good. Herm's real good. And Herm doesn't have the ego. He's definitely the guy that you draft third, and he's not yep. going to be upset about it at all. Yeah, exactly. He he's just going to go in and like yeah. that guy's forgotten more football than I'll ever know. Oh, there's no question. No question. That's awesome. That's good. Pick. That's good pick there. And you have him. Um. I'm going to go with a guy that nobody else in all of football likes, but I find him likable. Oh, you don't you dare. Jim, don't. Jim Harbaugh. I oh, that, like wasn't where I, that wasn't where I was thinking, but. No, I don't but, know where you were thinking. But no, I like a, hey, now, now I want to know. Where were you thinking? Yeah, I, I was like, what were you going to accuse me if, of? If you were going anywhere near Debo Sweeney, I was going to come down. No, and you know, you but you know me. I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in that room. That okay. Dabo's no, on my others list just because I want to yeah. hear the like everybody else try and talk or everybody else will talk football. And Dabo, I don't think would have the slightest clue. I don't think he would no. know what anybody was talking about. I think he's good at managing like a business. I don't think he's a good football coach. Like I, I know that sounds crazy, but I think he's a better CEO than he is a coach. This is not a, well. We're going to disagree but on that too. But, that, that, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But I, I would, I would love to see that. He's he was on my others that didn't make the list. And obviously I'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, no, so Harbaugh. I, I Harbaugh. I think Harbaugh is quirky, weird, entertaining. He's the Phil Fulmer of the group. He's going to be the guy that the other guy, Steve Spurrier is going to break his nuts oh, from the time he walks in to the time he leaves. Yes. Yes. That's a, that puts you with two Michigan men on the, uh, on the list. So no, I know. I've never really been, I'm not an anti-Michigan guy, but I, I, and a less is different though. Less is yeah. love has nothing to do with Michigan at all. No, no, you're you're right about that. My uh, my number three, and I, I think you guys might make fun of this one. Uh, if I'm wanting to talk serious, actual football and understand exactly what's happening in the ball game, I'm going to bring in Chip Kelly. I want Chip Kelly yeah. as my number three. I think yeah. he's people don't think he's entertaining. Uh, he's not super personable, but he cuts out all of the crap and he just gets down to the basics and he explains exactly what's happening. Uh, I'd love to see Chip Kelly in there. So that's uh, that's my three. my guys, Gary. You're poaching my guys. It, well, let me see if uh, if my fourth is uh, is poaching anybody's. Uh, my fourth, same kind of reason here, uh, except that he is even more like doesn't put up with bullshit kind of thing. Bronco Mendenhall, he is Ooh. insanely likable to me. Uh, obviously, he's rebuilt that Virginia football team. I don't know how good they're going to be next year, but I mean that was that was a dumpster fire that he walked into. Yeah. And what he did at BYU was, I don't want to say unprecedented, but, I mean, 11 seasons, uh, 11 winning seasons, made a bowl game every year at BYU. like, and, and he turned Virginia around. Virginia is not exactly the easiest place to win. Uh, I, I'd love to hear his insights. I mean, he, he doesn't cut corners with anything. At just before, what, not this past season, but the season before, he was talking about how he only had, like, 20 players that were ACC quality. And he, he doesn't care if he hurts anybody's feelings or anything. He's going to get in and tell it like it is. And I would love to see that mixed up with Mike Leach and Les Miles. Uh, you get two guys like Chip Kelly and Bronco Mendenhall in there with him. I, I'm all about that. Chris, who you got? All right, so I'm going to go with my boy now. Man, yeah. wrote me a letter. Told me he loved me. Coach O, listen, Coach O is the kind of man that I believe if he came to my house and I was outside grilling and he wanted to cook something else, he will walk up to another man's grill, take the meat off, and put new meat on. I could I could see that. I could but see I that. know with Coach O in the room, we're going to eat good. So I, I'm good on that. And, uh, and yeah, I just think he's, he's the fire that's going to light the whole thing. 
I could buy. I'm it. not being in a room without Coach O if I got a whole bunch of coaches. There you now go. You're, you're poaching my picks as well. I mean, yeah. now I got I've got to dig down. Okay, you got four and five so, here, Sam. You got four and five. All right. So I've got a Big Ten coach. I got a Pac-12 coach. I got a Big Twelve coach. So we're going to go ACC and we're going to go SEC. Give me okay. Nick Saban because okay. oh my God, yes. Give me Nick Saban <laughs> and give me Scott Satterfield because oh that's a good know, one. Yeah, I like, like, I like Satterfield pick. Guy took Appalachian State and really made him fly. First year in Louisville, turns a team that is just run into the ground. Into what he did in Louisville, I think, is miraculous. I really do. I think it's exactly. miraculous. Yep. So, so give give me him in the in the coach's room. Um, hurts me not to bring in Cutcliffe again. That guy knows so much about football and, and really. You got well too many spoken. smart kids in your room, though. Come on, I, your, your room is really good. Saban and Pat know football better than anybody. They are awful to talk to. They hate the media. They're not going to answer. If you have a question, they're not going to answer your question. They want to talk to you. They're going to give you the bare minimum. They're going to Bill Belichick you, and they're going to well, get out. And, and and on in press conferences, Fitz is like that. But I've I've met him. I've spoken with him. Okay. And like you get him away from the cameras and. He is one of the most personable, friendly, you know, he, he took time away from talking. You know, I was, I, I met him in, in a hotel bar. They were um, big 10 football and basketball coaches were having a conference. I was at, at a conference in the same place. Uh, Pat Fitzgerald walked away from Tom Izzo uh, to come talk to me. And That's like, I'm awesome. like, no, no. Go, you go, you go back and you talk to Tom Izzo and, and get what get what you can from him. And but the the fact that he walked away from you know guys who he's having a deep conversation just to come and say hi to me, uh, just a, a Northwestern fan. I mean, guy is extremely personable and you know would love to spend some time. Cameras off or in, in a coaches room where everyone's everyone's a little more relaxed. You know, you've had a couple. Brewski's flowing around a little bit, get everyone a little All bit right. looser. And, All right. I, only, I, I, think, I can only judge on what I've seen. And fair enough. Fair enough. Michael so. jumped in and said, uh, no Jimbo yet, and it's almost like he was looking at my list. Jimbo Fisher is my number five. Um, I I am really I, – I wanted to go on and get that out there before before Chris did, uh, but Jimbo is my number five. I think he's really smart. Uh, Love Jimbo. I think he's got he a lot of stories. I, th- I think he'd be super entertaining in a situation like that. Uh, Chris, who's who's your number five here? So I'm going to bounce Leach because I just felt like I don't, we don't need our list to be too much the same. And I'm going to go with with a guy I talked about earlier. He's not in the league anymore, trying to get back in the league. I want to hang out with Brett Bielema. I don't <laughs> like Brett Bielema. I don't know why. <laughs> I want to ask Brett Bielema. I remember a game, I don't know how many years ago it was at Wisconsin, where they put over 500 yards of offense on the ground running the football. And I just want to be like, at what point in time did you, were you sitting in plays and you just said, just, I don't care, just run the ball. I don't, I don't really care what you run, just run the football. Yeah, we're not throwing it. Like, we're, we're not no. giving, he's, he's one of those coaches that I believe bought into the Bear Bryant thing. Like, only three things can happen when you throw the football and two of them are yeah. bad. So forget it, we're just going to hand it off. Like, I, I could see that. I could 100% see when that. When you have an offensive line like that and he yeah. knows how to teach offensive line, I I think I think it's just one of those things where this is what we do really well, you know, and and so I get away from it, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. No, that makes I sense. find him likable. In all honesty, I would I would have Leach in that room just because he's he's one of my favorite people in the world. Do y'all want to hear the rest of like my my ones that didn't make the list? Give us the people yeah. that don't make the list. Now, it, several of them are ones that you guys already had on your list, but uh, I had Dan Mullen, I had David Cutcliffe, Hugh Freeze, uh, Ed Orgeron, Dabo, and then Mike Gundy. And so, yeah, yeah I had uh, I had quite a few that you guys uh, brought steal, in. If I could steal one from each of your list, it would be Leach and Gundy. I could, are... I could buy that. Gundy was really good on, uh, was it last year's, Sam? Uh, was yeah. it last yeah. year or the year before? That's no, the... so this past year was... Was Gun- Gundy was in the room and he yep. was kind of driving the bus. The year before was Cutcliffe and Fitzgerald. Yeah, oh, that's right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Driving. Yeah. Let's yep. uh let's wrap up with this. This is 